What have you done to lead South Africa today? We performed the test here this morning and we started off doing a field sobriety test and also a physiological test. Just checking my respiratory rate. I've done a couple of tests, walked the line, everything's 100%. I've had four units of whiskey. Um, I'm ready to go on my fourth run. My time has got progressively faster. They've improved on their times. And this is probably due to losing inhibitions after drinking more. People become more confident and that's where all the nonsense starts. Oh, it's got a cup holder. Happy list. Mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure I'm over the limit. Um, I had three glasses of red wine and a whiskey. Perception is a little bit off, getting slightly reckless on the road. As they began to partake and having drinks, then the fun started. The driving was impaired, the motor capabilities were impaired due to alcohol intake. And the more alcohol was consumed, we noticed that there was an increase in the, or a decrease in the ability to control the vehicle. Also, we ended off with a field sobriety test where they had to walk the line, where they had to do a heel to toe test as well. And on average, this was done with moderate to severe difficulty. So here we are at the end of the experiment. I've had six beers in the course of just over an hour and a half, and I'm just about over the legal limit. Now that probably sends out all the wrong messages because that's going to allow me to want to take chances going forward. Where the thinking should be any amount of alcohol, if I've had one, if I've had two, if I've had 10, but more importantly, if I've had just the one or the two, I should never be in a position where I feel I'm comfortable to get behind the wheel. That's ultimately what we need to be driving because six for me might be acceptable but one or two for somebody else might not be. And I think we really need to move to the point where there's zero, absolutely zero tolerance for people who get behind the wheel once they've had a bit of alcohol. And I think once we've hit that, then we can truly say we've decided to lead as a no tolerance for people behind the wheel with any alcohol in their blood system. What I've learned is uh, you aren't fully in control, even though you think you are. You aren't really fully in control of your vehicle if you've had anything to drink. So I think the best piece of advice I could give you is don't drink and drive. That would be my best advice. Rather get somebody to drive for you. Let's lead SA. This is not up to the next person. It's up to us. Let's start with us. It starts with you. Lead SA is a 94.5 KFM and Cape Argus initiative.